so good uh, good afternoon or good morning um as they've said my name is dahlia and my poster is on the topic of the neuroscience of addiction so addiction is a complex phenomenon that involves an irresistible desire for a particular object individual or entity despite its known harmful effects on physical and psychological well-being this means like you know sometimes some people say i want to quit but they can't so that is when addiction happens so here um to, uh, today i will be talking to you through the neurophysiology of addiction uh the impact on the brain functions and the underlying motivation and reward systems. So addiction is a multi-phase phenomenon characterized by an irresistible desire for a particular substance despite its harmful effects. It involves physical dependence, tolerance, um, and withdrawal symptoms. Initially, substance use induces pleasurable emotions. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> um sorry i'm excited reinforcing the desire for continued use um however the addiction goes beyond individual experiences and affects various brain functions substance use can give rise to psychiatric disorders such as intoxication delirium withdrawal delirium psychotic disorders mood disorders sleep disorders anxiety disorders and a, a sexual dysfunction. Understanding addiction requires a comprehensive examination of, the, of an individual's ego psychology, personal stressors, environmental factors, and the specific properties of substance use. The reward system, which regulates functionality, attention, reward expectation, motivation, and addiction, uh, plays like a crucial role in addiction. Dopamine, a neurotransmitter, plays a vital role in motivation, mood, and reward. Addictive substances and uh, increases dopamine release in the ventral striatum, affecting motivation's wanting aspects. The reward pathways in the brain involve key pathways, such as the mesolimbic pathway, mesocortical pathway, nigrostriatal pathway, and the tuberulin fundicular pathway. The mesolimbic pathway connects to, uh, the ventral tegmental area, the VTA, to, to the amygdala. Ventral striatum and hippocampus affecting reward processing. To understand addiction, we need to explore the involvement of specific receptors in the brain. The one receptors are involved in reward, while the two receptors impact genetic predisposition, reward sensitivity, and vulnerability to addiction. The serotonergic system with its diverse receptor subtypes and the GABAergic system, which regulates reward and positive reinforcement, also contribute to addiction. Another important system in addiction is the glutamergic system, which is based on the neurotransmitter glutamate. This regulation of this system has been implicated in neurodegenerative diseases, obsessive compulsive disorders, or OCD, and addiction. NMDA receptors specifically are associated with withdrawal sy syndromes in substance addiction. The motivation and the reward system play a significant role in addiction. Studies by Olds and Miller in the 1950s revealed the brain's reward system's significance in attention, motivation, and reward anticipation. Addictive substances raise dopamine levels in the ventral striatum, affecting motivations wanting aspect. So how does addiction develop? It begins with the pursuit of relaxation, anxiety relief, stress reduction, or increased happiness. Continuous substance use, influenced by genetic and uh, the substance's addictiveness, leads to addiction. Substance use acts as a reward, providing well-being, strength, anxiety reduction, and, uh, and pleasure. The strong desire for the substance becomes a significant sign of positive reinforcement in addiction. Addiction causes tolerance, which means that larger quantities of the substance are required to achieve the same effect. As addiction progresses, the compulsive stage takes over. 
uh, where substance use becomes uncontrollable. Prolonged use leads to adverse brain adaptations and physical dependence. Stopping ab abruptly causes withdrawal symptoms, varying in severity. In conclusion, addiction is a complex phenomenon that involves both physiological and psychological factors. It is not merely a means of escape or self uh, harm. It can also be seen as a neurotic attempt to reconcile conflicting impulses by needs within oneself. And by understanding the causes and consequences of substance use, we can gain valuable insights into the complexities of addiction and develop effective strategies for, for prevention, intervention, and treatment. Thank you for your attention, and I'm happy to answer any questions you may have.